welcome to Let's Talk Paranormal episode 33, a closer look at my 20-way charger. A couple of episodes ago I showed off this new charger that I've just built and talked about how nicely it's working and a user, a viewer, L Morrison 17 asked, would it be possible to get a closer look at the physical layout of how you wired the boards and so on. So that's what this episode's about. A closer look. Uh, so it's pretty simple. Uh, I've got a main power line here. This is the plus which comes along here, across here and under here. And this, this, this is the battery strapping stuff that um, I use for wiring up my battery packs that you can get off uh, AliExpress and eBay, I'm sure. I'll put a link in the, down below. So it goes across there and under here, and then I just link straight across to each board from there and from here to these boards here, like that. Then the minus, the negative, the main negative line goes under all these, and connects to the negative over here and the negative comes under there along here and under here so then it joins across to the negative pad on each module then I've got two big honking uh, wires coming out here which go, go off to the off to the power supply. The only confusing thing about this layout is the modules are actually upside down. So the negative of the battery is wired straight from the battery holder to the pad on the module and the positive comes around and up to here. And I did that because the LEDs are on this side of the board and I if I'm looking at an angle, I want to be able to see the um, LEDs down here instead of, if I had them up the other way, they would be hidden under the battery holder. And um, that's about it, basically. I did draw up a design for it before I actually did it. I, um, so that's the, the design on paper that I did. And I, I had modules that I moved around and fiddled around and thought about that for a while before I actually started. And that turned out to be quite a good thing because it turned out quite well. There were also um, a bunch of people commenting about different ways of using and powering these modules. And one person talked about how you can use a single module and then connect it to a four-way battery holder and have that wired in parallel so that you've got a single one amp module tp4056 module that could potentially charge up to four in parallel if he wanted to charge something quickly he would just plug one battery in and then you'd get the full one amp going to that one battery if he wanted to do a, a really gentle charge, he'd plug four batteries in and then they would each get a quarter amp into each of the four cells. So that was kind of a clever system. I built this one here earlier and I had two modules charged from one USB cable. The USB power came in here and then I had wires coming across to the other module which I had to steal because I blew that one. So that module is now there. And sadly this is also dead because I put the battery in the wrong way around. Yeah. Someone also commented that you could put in a protection guide to save the modules. But, so these things cost 40 cents and the odds of the protection diode costing 40 cents or more are reasonably high. Uh, and it's probably just as easy to get myself 
five extra modules and um, swap out any that I've low. Since I did that one really early on, I haven't many. Really, I've managed to avoid killing any other ones, uh, and partly that's because when I'm measuring the volta the voltages straight out of the laptop, I always write the voltage at the negative end of the of the battery, and so when I come in to plug them in. Um, I remember that and I always keep the number at the negative end and somehow that seems to work for me rather than having to consciously look at them. I don't know why that works but it seems to. The other comments that people had was different power supply scenarios. So there's, you can do just a USB power supply. The other approach is to get yourself an old ATX power supply and one of these breakout boards is called an ATX breakout board from Dangerous Prototypes and these work really well. Uh, they just plug straight in and they give you 5 volts and 12 volts. Probably the best bet is to get yourself a nice grunty power supply. This is out of a blade server and hardwire it up yourself. There are lots of instructions out on the internet, on YouTube as well, on how to wire these things up. The other possibility is you could get a 24 or 12 to 5 volt DC to DC step down converter and power it from an existing um, power pack or power supply that you might have. Um, so I've got my 2 kilowatt pack is up and running and I could theoretically charge these new cells using that pack with a DC converter. Um, but you know, I'm using this power supply instead. For my um, power out connectors I put these banana plugs on the end of it so it can plug straight straight into the banana plugs here. Um, right at the moment I've got it running oh, I've got it running through this funny harness thing that allows me to plug in my watt meter. So that tells me that these 10, 10 cells are pulling 7.3 amps. So these are not pulling 1 amp each, they're pulling 0 0.7 of an amp each. One other thing is originally when I installed these battery holders I glued them in with a hot glue gun and that didn't work at all. Uh, as soon as I plugged in one bad cell that heated up, it heated the uh, hot glue and melted it. So when I went to pull the battery out, out popped the battery holder off the board. So I've gone in and riveted them all in and that is super solid. So riveting works quite nicely. This setup works nicely because I've got this nice flat strapping. If you don't have this strapping, which runs underneath the batteries quite nicely, you could run thicker gauge wires um, and run them along the top edge instead. And that would work as well. It might just take a wee bit more space, but it'll be fine. I hope that helps Al Morrison 17 and anybody else who is curious. Keep those questions coming. It's quite uh, fun to answer them. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Cheers.